Um, let's look at the last game on Saturday, which is West Ham against uh, Aston Villa. Um, difficult one for me, Flash. I must admit, it's probably one that I wouldn't, won't be playing in from a punting point of view, but we still need some predictions. Yeah, again, I've gone to draw here, and, and the reason I've gone to draw is because uh, I think Villa would want to get off the, uh, off the mark with at least something, so they'll be well organised. Probably got one of the best up-and-coming managers in the league. He'll make sure that they're set up not to get beat. And the one thing about West Ham are that they can be a bit too cavalier. They can overcommit, and that's probably what costs them winning the championship last year so West Ham it'll be it will be buzzing they will be absolutely over the moon that they're back in the uh, premiership but for me I've gone with a draw it's interesting because last year the home supporters seemed to get on the back of Sam Allardyce uh, and of the, and certain West Ham players as well but as Flash says you get the feeling now they're back in the big time they'll be given a little bit more grace maybe by those supporters who are a demanding bunch Luke back in the big time for now <laughs> I think we can say, um, no, to be fair, I think they'll do okay, West Ham. I think they'll be bottom five, but I think they'll stay up. But I think for me, any team that's got Darren Bent in it has always got a chance. I think he's definitely one of the most underrated players in the Premier League. Paul Lambert, or Paul Lambert, as he used to be known in his Borussia Dortmund days, has come on. He's a top-class manager. He'll have them organised, he'll have them ready, and I think they've got the firepower to go there and get a result, and I'll definitely be in the Aston Villa camp. Butler, how are you seeing this one? Well, it's interesting what Luke says. All the early money is for West Ham. You would expect that. I mean, they're the more sort of trendy side. They've got more, more money. The fans, you know, have got more money for betting purposes. In East End, the London, the City Boys, all West Ham fans are all putting their money in. But they, it's not a, a strategy Jim would have proved them very popular last season. Their home form was abysmal. I'm with you. I think the draw here at 12 to 5 is a big, big runner. I really do. I think first set game of the season, first time back in there, you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose your first game, especially it's important for like, teams like Reading and West Ham coming back to the Premier League. If you do want to fancy West Ham, Five to four. I'm sure there'll be many accommodating bookmaker out there wanting to take your money on the West Ham there at five to four. The feel good factor in the East End of London is up through the Olympics, but I don't think it'll be there at some quarter to five on Saturday afternoon. The draw for me, 11, 12 to five. Aston Villa, the only thing about Aston Villa, they've got a few doubts. Agmon Lahore may not be playing. There's a couple of other injury concerns, and, I, and that's probably why the money's come for West Ham.